Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing a class for relieving back, neck and shoulder pain in a very scenic and very windy location. Hopefully the scenic views are going to allow you to relax your mind as well. The class is suitable for all levels, perfect for beginners, for days when you want to relax and soften and stretch the shoulders, the neck. We're going to start seated, I mean to a seated, comfortable seated position. I'm trying to find a comfortable seated, seated position here and we're going to hands over the heart, starting to deepen the breath. Nice deep inhalations, complete exhalations and slowing the mind down. Inhale the hands over the head and exhale the right hand behind you, left hand onto the right knee and twist, look over your shoulder. Inhale the hands up and over to the opposite side. Look over your shoulder, lengthen to the crown of the head. Inhale, reaching up again, big breath in. Exhale, hands over the knees, round the back, look towards your navel. Inhale, look up. Exhale, rounding the back as much as you can, looking towards the navel. And inhale, look up, lengthen the back of the neck. Again, exhale. Inhale, lengthening. Coming back to neutral and we're going to draw circles with the fingertips, reaching out to the sides with your arms, drawing circles. And let's change the direction. Feel free to slow down this class or speed it up within the settings. All right, let's reach over to one side. Glide one arm out, opposite arm reaches over the head and then the other side, lengthening both sides of your torso here. Softening the shoulders as you do that. Great, a few circles with the shoulders in one direction and then forward. First backward, then forward. Great. Hands behind the head. Press your elbows back and lengthen the neck. After that, bring your elbows in front of you together. Lengthen the elbows out to the sides. Back of the neck lengthens. Now rounding and bring the elbows together. A few more of those. They're, they're really good for the neck and upper back. And now let's come into a seated. Look over your right shoulder. Let's look over to the left, keeping the chin parallel to the floor, lengthening both sides of the neck here. One more time to the right. And center left, reaching as far back with the head as you can without compromising the alignment. One more time right. And let's reach with the left hand up, right arm by your rib cage. See if you can touch your t-shirt or hands behind you. You can bend forward, this is optional for the more advanced ones. Soften the shoulders. Great, opposite side. Really work your elbows close to, one elbow close to your ear and the other close to the rib cage and see if you can clasp either the hands or grab the t-shirt. Great, release and now look up and tuck the chin in, lengthening the back of the neck but also the front stays relaxed, the throat stays relaxed. Look up, look down, tucking the chin in, look up, tuck the chin in, looking up, tucking the chin in, and a few neck rolls. Keeping the length of the neck here, really keeping all sides of the neck elongating as you do that, not collapsing one side. We're moving and using 
the natural movement in the body, but at the same time keeping the length. Full range of motion. Great, shoulder rows. Keeping the full range of motion in the body, but at the same time not going too far. Great, let's bring the backs of the hands together in a reverse prayer and lower the elbows down so you feel this all the way through your forearms. Now again reverse prayer but keep the palms of the hands together then point and have them point down and you can have one arm top of the hand towards the palm and then the other pressing the elbows down. Pressing equally into the wrists so that you're stretching completely. Great. Let's bring one arm in front of us. Bring it in with the opposite. Keep your shoulders back and down and stretch here. Back of the shoulder is stretching. Opposite side. Without lingering too long in things, just move, move forward. Great. Let's bring the elbow by the left ear, left elbow to left ear and here you can bring your hand over the elbow and pull it in, opposite side grabbing your elbow with the opposite hand and bringing it in so that you can stretch here the tricep shoulders great, extend the legs in front of you and you can pose your fingertips out really posing them out, stretch your arms as hard as you can Let's go carpal tunnel too. Great. Bending the left knee, bring the right hand around the left knee and look behind you. Another twist. This is great for your entire spine. Opposite side. Shoulders back and down, lengthening through the crown of the head. Engage the extended leg. Your extended leg is pressing down. Great. And now let's bend the right knee, bring the right leg into your left inner thigh and bend forward here a little bit. Keep your back elongated, do not round the back. Excellent. Opposite side, lengthening the back of the neck. Try to keep the alignment here. Opening the hips that can relieve lower back pain in many cases. That's a hip opener, we're stretching the legs as well. All right, so of the feet together, do as much as you can. You can use your arms to press slightly your legs down so that you're opening the inner thighs here. The hips are also opening here, hamstrings are involved. And this is great for your lower back. And since everything is related, it's great for your neck and upper back as well. Kinetic chain. All right, forward bend. Legs together, bending forward over your legs. Don't force it. Just stay in a comfortable position where you feel the stretch. Okay. Breathe. Breathe into your hamstrings. Breathe into your glutes. From here, we're going to exit. This pose, bring the soles of the feet together and round the back, arch the back, holding the knees. A little more of those undulating types of moves. Rounding and arching, rounding and arching, involve your core when you round, pull the belly in and then arch, lengthen the back of the neck. Gorgeous. From here, we're going to bring the right ankle right above the left knee and reach over the head and reach forward in a forward bend. That's another hip opener that can help you greatly if you suffer from back pain. Soften the neck here. Coming out of this opposite side, flex your foot, flex both feet here. That's important, flexing the feet. Soften and breathe into your hip, left hip stretching now. Soften the neck.
So I'm coming out of this. And we're gonna come onto all fours. Knees underneath the hips, wrist underneath the shoulders. Open in an arching position, stick your tongue out. Round your back, look at your navel. Stick your tongue out, open. This is a, your jaw is related to your neck, so it's funny looking but important. Rounding the back. Keep coming back to this class because it will build up. The effects of it will build up. Keep going, rounding and arching. Also, you will learn the sequence over time, so you will need to look at the monitor far less. All right, let's bring the right back of the shoulder on your mat, back of the head on the mat, twisting here, softening the shoulders. Great. On this, when you have more time, you can do a little longer version of this class by slowing it by 75% speed. And opposite side, the speed is in the lower right corner of the video you can adjust your speed of the video without it feeling unnatural if you do 75 percent all right coming out of this rabbit pose you're gonna bring the top of your head on the ground grab your heels and roll forward do not put a lot of weight on your head just a tiny touch and this will stretch your shoulders and upper back great come out of this and lay onto your belly Elbows are into the rib cage. come up, upward facing dog, actually cobra here for the beginners. One more time, cobra pose, really bring your elbows into your rib cage. shoulders are down and back, soften them, relax them, lengthen the back of the neck, lengthen your tailbone down. Let's look over one shoulder and then over the other. Over one shoulder and then over the other. The scenery has me ocean dreaming right now. One more cobra. Go a little deeper if you have room for that and if you're not in pain. Do not do anything that causes pain. Stretching is different from pain. Back to all fours and this is a waggling tail uh, pose. You're just gonna waggle your tail like a dog and look back at your tail. So put it to the left, head to the left, put it to the right, head to the right. Funny but also effective. And our first down dog of the class, spread the fingers wide open and straighten the legs. Reaching as high as you can with your tailbone. Pressing into the base of the fingers, shoulders away from the ears. Really spin your triceps in here so your shoulders are away from your ears. I'm demonstrating it. I'm over demonstrating it so you know what I mean. Really spinning the triceps in so the shoulders are lining. Here we're gonna bring one hand in the center of the mat and the opposite over to the opposite ankle. So let's say left hand in the center of the mat, right hand to the left ankle, twist here and look under the shoulder and then over to the other side. Great, and back to center. From here you're going to step in your right foot in between the hands and come up high lunge. Try to take as wide angle high lunge as you can, wide step. Hands clasping behind you, bend forward in a uh, form of a humble warrior and let's drop the knee down on the ground the left knee twist here all the way over to look over your right shoulder release the hands down and we're gonna step the left foot in come up in high lunge step it wide clasp behind your back you can change the clasp here soften the shoulders and bend forward Pressing into the back heel, softening, softening here, humble warrior. Let's drop the right knee down and twist over to your left, look over your left shoulder, soften everything. Great, coming out of this, hands on the floor. Let's step the right foot in one more time, come up high lunge. 
warrior two coming out and taking a nice wide stance lower the foot down the left foot down reverse the warrior and then go into side angle lowering the right elbow over the right knee you can post your arm here back and forth and again reversing the warrior reaching down the left leg step it down plank plank is important in back pain relief and opposite side left foot comes in warrior two reverse the warrior walking the right hand down the right leg and elbow over the knee side angle you can pose here press the top arm back soften lengthen the sides of the torso great let's bring both hands on the floor step it back plank plank belly in from here you can twist side to side the booty drops side to side and engaging the core and again side to side engaging the core side to side engaging the core great coming out of this walk your feet to the front of the mat bend your knees clasp your hands behind forward bend sit back chair twisting side to side in the chair clasping behind so funny so open your shoulders, good for posture, twisting side to side. And great, hands in prayer, right elbow to the left knee. Opposite side, whichever side you do first, those are all bilateral, so we'll do them on both sides. Back to center, reach over your head. Great, open your arms out, get that prana in. Breathe it in, baby. And hands behind your head, lengthen the back of the neck. Let's round it and bring the elbows together. Let's lengthen the back of the neck, press the elbows back, open the chest, round the back, now elbows in. A few more of those, those are phenomenal for your neck, phenomenal. Great, reaching out to the sides. Lengthening, lifting, opening, breathing, feeling it. Beautiful, reaching up and over to one side. Side bends, reaching over to the opposite side, side bends. A few more of those and hands in prayer. Gratitude for everything that you have shown up in your life and for the things that haven't yet shown up. <gasps> Gratitude. Expressing gratitude, breathing in the present moment. Beautiful. Thank you. Namaste.